And here we are onto the grand finale of the 8-bit summer block. <laughs> this is going to be a good one too cuz it's bringing back a classic. A one-time exception of where I will play a game again because I tend to want to not retread my tracks. Meaning eventually there will be no more Koo Impact content. Not to sadden people's day. But for now, let's talk about a game we've already let's played. In in this form of this let's play. Published by Vatical Entertainment, but licensed by Nintendo. Developed by Chemco. Deja Vu is a registered trademark in Infinite Ventures and the Infinite Adventures. Jesus. Yeah, you know what? We did this before. In fact, we did this when the channel turned to 500 subscribers. And I played along like I had no idea who I was, what a Let's Play was, uh, what I was doing here, why the game was in front of me, and all that kind of jazz. It's a, it, it, was a, it was a period piece. You know, one of those pieces of Koo Impact history. Now, of course, there was a sequel to Deja Vu. There is a Deja Vu 2 Lost in Las Vegas, uh, as opposed to the first one. And this is a remake of both of those on the Game Boy Color, packaged into one game where you can't play the second one until you beat the first, unless you put in a password. Which, instead of doing that and just playing the second one, I feel like it's a good time to show off the first one again. Because me and the character of Ace Harding, who we haven't met yet, have a long history. So here it is. Let's play Deja Vu 1 and 2. The Case Books of Ace Harding. Ooh, and it gives us three files. Oh, I guess, no, I can go straight to two. Whoa. This is actually much more enhanced graphically than the, uh... What the fuck? Okay, no. Listen to me on this one. I'm getting distracted because of the lack of instrumentation going on to the cool song that's supposed to be playing here. It graphically looks more colorful and more detailed than the NES one. But what the fuck is this music? Come on, Kenko. Not a good cover. You awake, from, you awake from a day, stupor, that feels like a very bad headache after a long and extremely unlucky week spent in Vegas. Isn't that kind of ironic? Take an inventory of yourself, you notice your right hand is covered with blood. Though, strangely, you neither see nor feel any wounds. Feeling a sharp pain on your left forearm, you roll up your sleeve. Small puncture gives you a pause. Have I been given something? You mutter, to hear in, you mutter, hear in a voice which sounds strange to your ears. With dawning horror, you realize you don't remember who you are. You've no idea why you're here, or even why where here is. Everything's a hazy blank. You've no memory whatsoever. And now we play the game. Whoa, the cursor is so much faster. What the hell? It looks like a typical ceiling light. You open the door. Except I want to close the door again. You're in a dank, dingy washroom. From the look and smell of it, you figure the janitor must be on strike. Alright, I want to go back in. You're in a toilet stall. The stench is more than you can handle. You close the door. It's a light brown trench coat that matches your trousers. You feel something in the pocket of the coat. So yeah, we played Deja Vu. We actually played this before. And if you've seen my playthrough, you know it's gonna. There's gonna be some nonsense. We got. I'll explain to you why. Then we got look, uh, use, pick up, open, close, speak, hit, and trash is a new button I think. And this is the move. And we've got. What do you think you're doing? Uh, I can't trash myself, but I can hit myself. Don't pat yourself on the back yet. <laughs> oh, I guess it doesn't work anymore. Holy shit, I wasn't expecting that. So this is where the inventory is on this version. Usually on the NES version, the inventory is on screen at all times up there. And due to that, there's a bit of an overflow glitch. But here, it looks like the inventory is just by pressing down and going further. And here's my bullet points for stuff. So what we want to do is we want to pick up the trench coat. You take the coat. 
There's nothing more handy than a, than a 39 <laughs> at your side. A 38. Sorry. Whoops. He observed the gun automatically, which is something I don't think happens in the uh, NES version. You take the 38. 38 caliber, let's go. What do you think you're doing? Oh, I want to uh, open the cup, please. You open the pocket. There's coins in it. What do we got? The shiny glint of a quarter catches the light. It's a gold-plated lighter. Very nice. You notice the initials JS etched into its side. It's a piece of your favorite chewing gum. It's a used handkerchief with the initials JS embroidered on it. It looks like a pair of sunglasses. You'd think you'd cut a dashing figure wearing them at night. <laughs> Funny joke. It's a very worn leather wallet. Hate to be the cow that that came from. Alright. Start taking stuff. Take out seven coins. You take the lighter. Uh, take the gun. Take the ink. Take the sunglasses. Take the wallet. Alright, what's in the wallet? Addresses. Coats, goods, wallet. There we go. You can then open the wallet. You open the wallet. What is this? It's a key with the word office inscribed on it. It's a card with several holes punched into it. Written across the bottom are the words private access, penthouse Seagal. It's a $20 bill. Sounds good to me, Ace. Oh right, he doesn't remember he's Ace right now. Spoilers, the title screen already said this was Ace Harding's game. I'm gonna need these things, so we're gonna take them. Having that 20 in my inventory makes me pray to some people. You can't take it. Wait, what happens if I look at the door? It's a door. It's a full roll of toilet paper. It tends to come in handy in surroundings like these. Alright, but can you take it? You can't take it. You're not allowed to take doors. Get out of here. The door already is open. Move me. This washroom really needs a good cleaning. No, make that a good fumigation. So you're not going to hear much of Koo's commentary because I'm going to be reading a lot of this out loud. Uh, let's see what the sinks look like. It appears to be a sink. Rustings show where the water constantly drips. Oh no, this jingles. Oh, what the fuck? The uh, question mark is on a different layer, so it's clipping through. You see yourself in the mirror. The ragged face of a stranger stares back. You still can't remember who you are. We need to do that. Just letting you know. You open the door. The door is open. You're in a dingy hallway. There's a puddle on the floor. It appears to be coming from the women's washroom. You hope it isn't someone who is having troubles. <laughs> well, we're gonna go in the woman's washroom. Why would we not? Let's do it. Doors are all open. You're in the women's washroom. What do we got in here? It's a large metal waste basket. A faint white film covers the mirror. It's as grimy as the rest of this place. Oh no, I'm losing it. It's the entrance to the women's toilet stall. 
You can't take it. You open the trash can. There's literally nothing inside, Ace. What are you trying to do? Oh no, now I'm going all over the- that's not the right accent. I'm almost out of time. You can't be moved if it's not open. The door is closed. What? Oh, I wanted to open it. You open the door. And this has been Cool Impact with Let's Play. With Let's Play. Deja Vu. 1 and 2. The Ace. The Casebook of Ace Harding. Don't you forget to subscribe. Look at those comments. Make those thumbs ups go. Don't forget the thumbs down when you don't like this content. Make sure your opinion counts. Doesn't matter if it doesn't look like it does. Always remember, here in Chicago, everything is hell. Because that's where we are. Chicago City. Peoria Street. And I'm going to see you all next time.